Listen, Jack. Hello family members, my name is Dr. Ken Stevens and I'm here to show you how to edit on Adobe Premiere Pro like a boss. The first thing we have to do or we have to think of is importing a file. Come over to where you have your footage, drag over to this icon down here and drop it into the project. Drop it like it's hot, drop it like it's hot, drop it like it's hot. Or rather you could just double click on the project box and it's gonna ask you to locate your file. Go over to your to your folder. Okay, so now we know how to import. What next? <laughs> Okay, my boy, I got you. Creating a sequence, we just take the, the footage, drag over to this small white box here. Drop it like it's hot. It opens, bam. We have a sequence created already. Okay. How do we edit? Um, I want to double click on it to have it on my source page so that I can be able to screw around and cut out the parts that I want to and the parts that I don't want to. So this is the Mac in and the Mac out, which actually is just to tell the Adobe Premiere, this is where I want to start my footage and this is where I want to end the footage. So I'll just drag this over down. So I have both my video and audio on my timeline. What if I just want to take just the video? I'm going to click on this little um, tape image down here, drag it over down here and here I have just the video. What well, if I wanted just the audio, I'll just do the same and bam, I have just the audio. And one beautiful thing about Adobe Premiere is that um, you, when you just put your mouse on any of the icon, it just directs you to what you're about to do. So it's very helpful. That's a plus to the Adobe company. Mark out with I. And I drag and drop my clip down to the timeline. Here we have the selection tool which helps you select your files. Here I have the razor tool which helps you to cut. Click on it. Let's see. I want to cut immediately when it fell down. I want to cut there. So I just click on this line. Um, now I'm going to go back to my selection tool and I pull this one over, you see? With the other tools, I'm going to get back to it later. But for now, I believe this is just what we need. Enter. It's going to take some time to render and that's it. And bam. Um, so right now, we have our project rendered. We can just play. When you're done rendering the file, the next thing you want to do is export. Come over to file, export. <laughs> Not that kind of export. On export, you just go to media. And this is how I like to do my settings. Go to H264 codec. And on preset, I'll just scroll down to HD 1080p 25 frames per second. I just click on it. Profile, I want to give it to high profile um level i'll just leave it there and render and maximum depth i just click on it um constant bit rate then i just click up i just put it up to 50. right down here i just click on use maximum render quality use previews Q. and when you click on Q, it's gonna open another software called media encoder so this is where you're gonna export the, your file to one so I'll just save to where I want to save it to. I just click on start and it starts running. Thank you very much for viewing. I hope you learned something from what I just showed you. And if you did, please don't forget to subscribe, like the video if you wish, share the video if you wish to. I am using Adobe Premiere CC 2015. You can get Adobe Premiere CC 2015 on the link below and you can follow me on twitter uh link below you can follow me on facebook just ask me your questions and i'm gonna answer them with the video tutorial thank you very much and i'll be sharing more videos to you this week so just stay awake uh my name is dr ken stevens and see you next time